Breaking Cardano news, Tesla to accept ADA. Cardano ADA news today. If Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano ADA, has his way, Tesla should accept ADA instead of Bitcoin, BTC, as a cryptocurrency. Hoskinson reasoned why this is so, and not just because of energy consumption. Today we are going to talk all about will Tesla accept ADA and how it will impact ADA price. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Cardano Land, your daily dose of Cardano. If you are interested in everything around Cardano, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Cardano news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more Cardano news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of ADA is doing on the 20th of September, shall we? Cardano price is grappling with a crucial support floor on the daily time frame as the big crypto experienced a minor crash. Investors can expect ADA to slice through this barrier before restarting its uptrend. However, the bullish outlook is based on the assumption that BTC recovers and proceeds to go higher. Cardano price has shed roughly 24% over the past 9 days as it retests the $2.188 support floor. Although BTC is crashing violently, ADA seems to be showing resilience around the demand barrier mentioned above. However, considering the uncertain nature of Big Crypto's price action, there is a chance Cardano price might dip below $2.188 briefly before recovering above it. Doing so will not impact the bullish outlook for ADA. Instead, it might trigger an uptrend to the immediate resistance level at $2.30. Flipping this barrier into a support floor will pave the way for a retest of the $2.638 ceiling. This run-up from $2.188 to $2.638 would constitute a 20% ascent. On the other hand, if Cardano price fails to recover above the $2.188 foothold, it will indicate a weakness among buyers and increased selling pressure. Moreover, it might also catalyze a move to $1.924. If ADA produces a lower low below this barrier, or $1.848, it will invalidate the bullish thesis and suggest a shift in trend favoring the bears. Now let's get back to the topic. Cardano is a public blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency, ADA. A blockchain is essentially a database that uses blocks of information that are chained together. People can use the Cardano platform to create programs and protocols. If you are familiar with Ethereum, another blockchain that has its own cryptocurrency, Ether, it's the same concept. In fact, the creator of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, worked on Ethereum until leaving in 2015 due to a dispute with its co-founder. The aim of Cardano is for it to be used to solve real-world problems. One of the ways it can do this is through smart contracts, or contracts that execute automatically when the terms are met. For example, a smart contract on Cardano could pay a freelancer when they complete a job for a client. Another application of Cardano is identity management, and it has already secured a partnership with the Ethiopian Ministry of Education for this purpose. Through this partnership, 5 million Ethiopian students will have IDs on Cardano's blockchain to track their academic achievements. Hoskinson sees Cardano as one of the most environmentally friendly digital assets. Hence his advice that Tesla should simply accept ADA instead of Bitcoin. Tesla had begun accepting Bitcoin as payment in March. In May, CEO Elon Musk revised this decision. Bitcoin is too energy intensive to produce, he said. Bitcoins are mined using the proof of work algorithm. Complex tasks are solved and miners receive Bitcoins as a reward for solving the tasks. This process is accompanied by high power consumption a fact that Tesla cannot tolerate if it wants to continue to be considered a pioneer in the world of green mobility. Cardano, on the other hand, works with the much more environmentally friendly proof-of-stake process. However, it is not impossible that Bitcoin will one day be accepted as a means of payment again. Elon Musk recently stated that Tesla would accept Bitcoin again if at least 50% of Bitcoins were to be mined through renewable energy. Hoskinson says Bitcoin is not a good fit for Tesla. Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, on the other hand, has a different idea. Bitcoin, he says, is not the right fit for a company like Tesla. If they really care about alternative energy solutions, sustainability, carbon reduction, and carbon neutrality, you can't be in a system where there's no built-in mechanism to limit energy use. Bitcoin can be mined with renewable energy, but the world's largest cryptocurrency does not have a built-in algorithm that minimizes energy consumption in any way. However, Bitcoin also lacks many other qualities besides being environmentally friendly, Hoskinson said. 
Namely, Bitcoin is not programmable enough to create unique things, he said. Cardano also better than Ethereum. Other cryptocurrencies that can do that, however, don't fare well with Hoskinson either. In the past, for example, he repeatedly made negative comments about the second largest cryptocurrency, Ethereum. Both cryptocurrencies are in direct competition with each other. Hoskinson was also involved in the creation of Ethereum at the time. Ethereum is overvalued, Hoskinson said. Unlike ADA, Ethereum has never worked with governments of developing countries. Moreover, he said, Ethereum is limited to working with smart contracts, while ADA is not. Quite grimly, Hoskinson sees Ethereum's future. First of all, Ethereum is killing itself. They're in the process of replacing Ethereum with Ethereum 2.0. In the end, ETH 2.0 will kill ETH 1.0. With Ethereum 2.0, Ethereum is also looking to switch to the proof-of-stake process, among other things. According to Hoskinson, however, the entire Ethereum structure is too opaque. Therefore, Ethereum will destroy itself in this case. Cardano is often referred to as a green cryptocurrency, and its energy usage is far lower than that of its competitors. Hoskinson has said that Cardano uses about 6 gigawatt hours of energy per year. To put that into perspective, it's estimated that Bitcoin uses about 130 terawatt hours per year, and Ethereum uses about 50 terawatt hours. A terawatt is 1,000 gigawatts. Ethereum's energy usage is expected to decrease by over 99% with its Ethereum 2.0 upgrades. But for now, Cardano uses much less. Is Cardano worth buying? There is no shortage of reasons to like Cardano. The founder is well respected by crypto enthusiasts. It's sustainable because of its low energy usage. It has all kinds of potential real-world uses and isn't one of the many cryptocurrencies that are reliant on hype. It's also simple enough to buy, as it's available on many top cryptocurrency exchanges. Cardano would change the laws of the market, just as Ethereum did in its time, for every reason. Significant profits may be generated now by investing in this project. Negative perceptions and attitudes on the market will be the only thing that may interrupt this bullish momentum. Our analysts think that by 2025, Cardano ADA can hit the $8 to $10 mark very easily. Talking about how the coin behaved in the past, things are looking to be good. Although the past is the past, in the crypto world, the past is directly proportional to the future of coins. One of the highest market caps and a massive amount of trade every day shows Cardano is popular with cryptocurrency lovers. Despite periodical price declines, the four-year history indicates steady development of the value of the coin. Many partners support the long-term growth potential of Cardano. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Cardano Land. Bye!